Uh, so it's waiting right now. Put the meat too tight, keep the hot to Ten out quick, ten out quick, ten out quick. I don't have your mouth too. Ah, your hoe, the canoe, a wide kid off, a wide from my mouth. T, a wide, radio. So I want to get more faith from the race power and give a big thank you to the brothers. To my brothers, give a big shout out to my brothers, the kings. Leroy Kai 24, Tetai Kai 24, and Waka Kai 24. So all praises to you, my brothers. Thank you for being here, being real mighty men of the Lord, real men of Hawaii, and our purpose is Hawaii too, to raise up the house of Ikaro, all the help. So all praises to the Most High, and thank you, brothers, for being here. Each one of the brothers represent their own hope. While we know and realize the situation, and the situation is we have to come together. So I want to get it out of uh, the book of Genesis, chapter 30, 49, verse 1. I'm just going to get us a precinct, just a warm up, my brother. Genesis 49, verse 1. Genesis 49, verse 1. And Jacob called unto the sons and said, Gather yourselves together. What did uh, Jacob say to the sons? Gather yourselves together. So that's what we need to start doing at the last days. Because as it reads, keep continually reading. This is a commandment for the end days. Read. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. In the what? In the last days. In the last days, my people. So we are here to teach you what's going to happen in the last days. And in these last days, all us people of each hapu need to come back together as hapu, not as Māori, but as hapu under the great cloud of Ikaro, Aotearoa. And we are those lights, and we are those stars representing Te Ika. So all praise is good to the Most High. We need to gather ourselves together. So we're going to send our vibration out here to the most glorious place of the hub of Ngāpui. According to statistics, Kaikoua is the most uh, criminal town in the northern area. And then it goes Moiroa, Kawakawa, Kataia. These are statistics we don't want to have. Have you got the book of 1st Maccabees, my friends? 1st Maccabees 49, verse 19, I think. First book, yeah, first Maccabees, first Maccabees, 49 and 19. Oh. Oh, 14 and 9. Of the Maccabees, first Maccabees, chapter 14, verse 9. The ancient men saith all in the streets, Communing together of good things. We are here to communicate good things. We are in the streets to communicate good things. And that's what the ancient men meant to do. Just be out here on the streets. We're all meant to come together. So if you've got any knowledge that you want to share to the people, come to the streets and share it with the people at the bottom. This is where they're at, at the streets. Can you read that again, brother? Book of 1st Maccabees, chapter 14, verse 9. The ancient men say, all in the streets, communing together of good things. And the young men put on glorious and warlike apparel. And us young men have learned how to put on glorious and warlike apparel. Warlike apparel is wearing your pupil. Wearing what your tupuna wore. Coming together. Hey, I'm with it. Hey, my heart of my brother. This is where it is. One of my friends I grew up at school with. Hey, Drew. Hey, my brother. This guy was the highest, um, the best that, um, like, he got a school C. He got, a, he was uh, the head boy of Northland College. He was the highest academic person for our whole age in the whole Northland. 
districts. This is the man right here. And all his education that he got, all his accomplishments, accomplishments he's got, wasn't for him. Tell my brother. Say, so, come here, my brother. Can I talk with you? Because you're, you're an example, you're a product of your environment. You came here, and you, you're, because I, I witnessed you, brother. You did your best at school. You achieved everything you did and needed to do. And I'm asking you that all the education that you received from school, did they help you in life? No. See that? See that, my brothers? This is the top man in the whole of Northland history, my bro. Straight up, I'm the witness. He was the only one out of my age who got their school C. Six form certificate, seven form certificate. He was an athletics champion. Everything you can know, you, you need from a poster boy from the Ngāpui people. And what did they put up? Not him. Not him. They gave put up someone else's face. Not the highest achiever. He's just a common labourer, like the rest of us. So we're out here to wake you up, my brother. So you just come back to the most high power. Keep his commandments so we can overthrow these damn devils that are over our educational system. The ones who taught you, my brother. The ones who took your language off you. The ones who took your teaching off you. Ma Torama Maori was taken off you. And that teaching would make you above all people. Because we can tell, we went to Northern College and the, the students who went to um, Kotokopopo or Kaikwe, they excelled more than us. But yet, this is the top man of all of Northland. And then we have another friend. He was the first person uh, in um, New Zealand Army history to get 100% in his theory test. And he's got the highest IQ and he's just like us. Nobody has ever achieved like what we've achieved and we get no nothing for it because this is this world doesn't love us my friend No matter how hard you try this world is not made for you So yeah my friend you want to learn about our father my friend We're here to give you some real air too Education means to cut somebody off from air too air too cutting that's a Greek word Educate. Kate means to, to um, stop somebody from air to air to Kate. That's why they say they got good wealth and good inheritance. We say we got good education. When we shouldn't be, so we should be saying we got good wealth, good health, and good inheritance. So can I get you a scripture, my friend? Can I get you three? Oh, yeah. Can you get two wrong one first? Let us get the the basics. Just first one and one. Just the first one. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So these words, my friend, the, the scriptures, the holy word of the Messiah, these are the words which Maui spoke unto all Ikoro. Speaking to you, my brother. He's not speaking to every other culture. These words are only for us. Now, can you go to um, Deuteronomy? We're going to go straight to the to the seal, my friend. Deuteronomy uh, 28, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. And I'm going to read before I'm going to read this. Uh, Moses and the Israelites, Ikoro, children of Ikoro, people of Kupe, of Jacob, they got cut, they come out of captivity, out of slavery, my friend. Most high got them out. And then the children of Israel, us, made a kawanatanga, a, a covenant with the Most High Creator. And we have to keep that, that, that covenant, that deal with the Creator forever. So I'm going to tell you what happens when you don't keep this contract. This is what they didn't teach us, my brother. There's a contract between the chosen people of God and God. Read, my brother. Deuteronomy 28, 15. But it shall come to pass if thou. Thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. So if you don't want to listen to the Most High, to the agreement you, your forefathers made, if you don't want to listen to that, read. Observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, 
which I command thee to stay, that all these curses shall come upon thee, all and overtake thee. All, all these, these curses, curses shall come upon thee. And they will take. Go to verse 16. We'll tell you a curse. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Say, so cursed shalt you be in the city. Who's at the bottom in the cities, my brother? Your people or other people? Your people. That's right, my brother. That's right, my brother. Your people. Read. And cursed shalt thee, shalt thou be in the field. In the field is the workplace, my brother. Who's cursed in the workplace? Your people or some other people? Who's the first hired? Uh, Who's the last hired, my brother? They let the stand, stand What's my brother? Who's the last hired and the first hired? Your people or Adam? That's right, my brother. These are, these are little curses, my brother, that happens to us from not keeping the contract of the Most High Creator. Get off uh, 46, my brother, please. Deuteronomy 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So these curses, my brother, they are upon you for a sign. A sign is an identified mark to identify who the true children of Israel are. And they shall be upon thee for a sign, and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. How long? Forever. How long? Forever. Forever, my brother. So this is what we're under. We're under a great curse, my brother, from the most high. Can you keep reading, brother? 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So the Maldives don't want to listen to thee, keep it all about. You're going to stay in this curse, my brother. Read. For the abundance of all things. We're meant to love the most high, my brother, because he's got promises for us. Read. 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Serve thy what? Serve thy enemies. Now you don't want to serve the most high, my brother. Now you've got to serve who? Thine enemies. Thine enemies, my brother. So the most high calls these other people your enemies, my brother. But it's their it's not their fault. Whose fault is it? It's ours for what? Not keeping the commandments. But why don't we know the commandments? Because these people don't teach it to us. You keep reading, brother? Therefore thou sh shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent them against us, my brother. Read. In hunger and in thirst. And the nakedness. Everything we need, bro. You gotta go through the enemies, read. And in want of all things. Want of all things. Even education. Even when you want to learn the power of the Most High, you have to go through the enemies to learn it. You can't learn the, learn the Most High's word off our street people. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So you got a yoke of iron, bro. That means control. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. He's destroyed thee, bro. How are you destroyed? I'm going to go to Hosea. Verse. Uh, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. So we're destroyed, the most high said. This is a curse. But what is being destroyed, my bro? This is the book of Hosea. Chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. For lack of knowledge. Of what knowledge, bro? Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That's right. That thou shalt be no priest to me. No priest of the Most High no more. No push, no power. Read. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. So you, what have we forgotten, my brother? Forgotten the law of thy God. That's what we've forgotten, my brother. The law of the Most High, my brother. So do you know what today is? It's the Holy Sabbath thing, my brother. We're not meant to buy or sell. Or kindle any hatred towards one another. I'm not meant to hate you on this day. I'm not meant to judge you on this day. And I'm, we're not meant to kindle fires. We don't want to give away our position in the old days. It's not about talking and all this. It's about the, the feelings we have today. Contain that feeling. For just our one day, it's treated like we got the mati. Like we have, the, we have our period. For that day, we give you nothing but life. Can you read that all again, my brother? Isaiah 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Thou, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. That's what we've forgotten, my brother. So can you go to 4, verse 1, verse 20? 
just forgotten the law of the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. This book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She uttereth her voice where? In the streets. Where? That's right, my father. So we are here in the streets to give wisdom, my brother. Wisdom to help rise our people back up onto their feet from the destroyed state. The destroyed from that the knowledge of the Kawa. Okay? Nobody knows the Kawa, my brother. I never knew it until I got introduced to it. So it's time for you to know the Kawa, my brother. So we're going to get Numbers 15, verse 38. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 28. 38. Verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. So my bird. This is what Maui and us say to you. We're speaking to you now. Children of Ikaro. This is our help. To be wrestled with your son. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. And bid them that they make fringes in the borders of their garments. So um, a bid is a commandment. And a commandment is that we have to keep our people on. Read that again, brother. Listen to this, sisters. This is our Maui strawberry. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make fringes in the borders of their garments. How long? Throughout their generations. So, we, so my sisters were meant to wear the pupae forever. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Say, my brother, this is a commandment, my brother, a law. Put a ribbon of blue. But if you don't got a ribbon of blue, my brother, cut your t-shirts off. Make your own pee style. Can't make these. Look, I made a rip. I'm still trying my best to try and keep the cold. Okay? Can you go to Leviticus 20, my brother? 20 verse 1. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 1. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Whosoever he be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, even now strangers were raised up with us. They even lost their, their, their way of life. They're not from the Maori people. They're still with us, Maori. They're our friends. Read. That giveth any of the seed unto Molech. We can't give our seed to Molech. Molech is the other nations who's ruling over us right now. Their God, Molech, my brother. We're sacrificing ourselves to other customs and cultures, okay? We can't do that no more. It's over for them, my brother. It's over for this wicked Western society. We gotta raise up from the east. That's where the sun just comes from. So we're gonna reach the sun now and bring it back up. So we're gonna get Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Because there's, there's an upside to this, bro. If you want to if you want to pick up to your feet, to where you should be. You know, you're a champion. 28 verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you listen properly, my bro, to what we're trying to produce here, to you, you're an intelligent man. I know this, my friend. You know, I'm, I'm serious when it comes to what you see. I've always been a one to tell you the truth. It's the truth, my brother. Never lie. So the truth is, my brother, this is the truth. We can keep the power. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken dil diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on above all nations of the earth. So the most high will put us high above all nations on the earth, my brother. He doesn't want us down in the streets. He doesn't want us trying to excel in someone else's world. He doesn't want us to compete in the rat race no more, my brother. He wants us as rulership, as kaitiaki. You know, as team kaitanifa. We're here, bro, to tell you. We're here to fight you, bro. I'm going to give you one more, eh? Uh, Numbers 28, verse 1, uh, 8. Do we all know about the future? Verse 28, 21, uh, uh, chapter 21, verse 8. Book of Numbers, chapter 21, verse 8. Okay, I, yeah. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent. So this is what the Most High from Hawaii said to Maui. 
make the fiery separate, a kaitani for a reef, and sit it upon a pole. Now we're sitting it on our pole. Reef. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, so, shall live. So everyone, we've, we've just bitten you now, my brother. Now you have to take it into heart and do it. I'm going to tell you one more, my brother. Can you read that one to me again? Numbers 21, verse 8. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. So we're here to give you life, my brother. If you hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Go to John 15, verse 13. Because I'm giving you love, my brother. Nothing but love here for you. You know this, my brother. You know me. Hey, John 18, 15. 15, 13. This is John, chapter 15, verse 13. Greater love hath no man than this. Three. Greater love hath no man than this. Why here right now? Three. That a man lay down his life for his friends. For what? For his friends. Yeah, that's what I'm here for, bro. I'm out here every Shabbat, every Hopatura, to lay my life down for my friends. And every single day, I'm stuttering, I'm observing the koa, keeping the commandments for my friends. What am I doing? I'm laying my life down for you because there ain't no greater love than that, my brother. Okay? You know me, and I know you. So I want, I want you right here, brother. I want you to come back. Hey. Can you come back? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my brother. I'm going to leave it like that. See you, eh? See you on the walk, my brother. Oh, hey, my brother. Come back to the cover, my girl, mommy. Learn about it, my girl. Just study it. Look up Kaitani for Modi. Just take the blood off our hands and say that. Just learn about the cover, like see the name. What's the cover? Hey, sis. I'll catch it twice. Oh, come up. Come up. Praise 